good evening students so uh, next topic is uh, thermal boundary layer okay so in thermal boundary layer we will see some important uh, thing like uh, how the temperature is varying with respect to fluid means uh, convection it is comes under convection only when there is a object over there when any fluid like you take a gas or gas or liquid is flowing over the flat plate how the temperature profile is creating based on what are the factors the temperature is rising and how it is reaching the equilibrium state we will discuss in the thermal boundary layer okay so for that uh, for better example uh, i have taken one plate this is a plate okay that i have clearly mentioned in the picture so this is a plate which is at a temperature of ts let okay so let us take the ts at maybe 80 degree celsius for better understanding purpose i am telling the plate initially at 80 degree celsius what is happening the air which is flowing or liquid which is flowing over the flat tube flat sorry flat plate this is a flat plate over the flat plate liquid is flowing over this flat plate so let us take the liquid temperature is t infinitive okay so for example you consider t infinitive is which is equal to 28 degree celsius so from here it is clearly understandable that t s is greater than t infinitive so what i have taken i have taken one flat plate which is at 80 degree celsius and over the flat plate i am forcing the fluid to flow over the flat plate which is flowing over the flat plate and i have assumed on condition the surface temperature of the plate is higher than that of the liquid so plate temperature is higher than the liquid temperature i have initially assumed now what is a thermal boundary layer how it is creating you see the fluid is flowing over this plate what will happen so the fluid flow will be here this is one layer of the fluid this is the first layer which is flowing on the surface of the plate and there is a one more layer this is another layer of the fluid like this layer by layer fluid will flow over the flat plate and we see carefully the layer the fluid layer which is adjacent to this plate the fluid layer that is this layer this layer of the fluid will be at the same temperature of the plate do you agree that yes you think it what is that the plate is initially at the temperature of 80 degrees celsius and the layer the fluid layer which is flowing just on the surface of the plate is also at the same temperature let us assume that is also the at the plate temperature and what will happen so that you see that thermal boundary layer on this blue color uh, it is gradually varying so the layer is developing okay so initially it is at this temperature right now what will happen the temperature from here to here that molecules will transfer like conduction it will transfer the heat to the another molecules which is flowing in the another layer and from here it will transfer the heat to the another layer likewise the heat is being transferred from one layer to another layer so when it is transferring you see the variation of the temperature so heat is this is how the layer is developing okay and it is developing after some distance from the leading edge so the edge which is at the starting they are calling that as a leading edge so layer is not developing initially so let us take this is a one dimensional sorry two dimensional x and y so from the leading edge so that is at x distance the layer is starts developing the thermal boundary layer is starts developing and when you increase the thickness just if the x value is increasing after that the boundary layer will not increase initially it will increase when x is increasing after some certain point the x will not sorry the boundary layer will not increase it will come down or it will be stable okay so now you do listen the temperature is transferring from this layer to this layer and from this layer to this layer likewise the temperature is transferring and we know that 
the temperature of the fluid is at 28 degrees Celsius and the temperature of the plate is at 80 degrees Celsius. So, what will happen? The heat is transferring from the plate to the fluid, then from the fluid to the another layers like that. After reaching some height, what will happen? The heat will not travel up to that much height. So, what will happen? After some certain height, okay, uh, that fluid temperature, like the surface temperature, it is increasing. Na? The temperature of the fluid at this particular point, that is at this point, let us take this is a delta T, this height is delta T which is a thermal boundary layer up at this point the temperature of the liquid will be 90 percentage equal to the the fluid temperature sorry the fluid which is coming at 28 degrees celsius but it is not just uh, flowing it is flowing over the flat plate which is at 80 degrees celsius so there is a, some heat transfer on the plate through conduction and from through convection also it is transferring so, after some certain height, the temperature initially at Ts, the fluid temperature initially at Ts, then after reaching this height, the fluid temperature will be equal to 90 percentage equal to 28 degrees Celsius. So, when and where the temperature of the fluid is equal to 90 percentage of the ambient condition or the initial temperature of the fluid, that layer is called thermal boundary layer. So, the region you see, this is the region, okay, which is normal to the surface of the plate. So, this direction you see, which is normal to the surface of the plate, above the surface of the plate, until the temperature of the fluid reaches 90 percentage of the initial temperature of the fluid, then the layer which is developed above this flat plate is called thermal boundary layer okay the formula for the thermal boundary layer which is equal to hx hx means heat transfer coefficient which we have studied already which is not a material property that is a kind of what you call that will vary with respect to the ambient condition if the ambient condition is high then heat transfer will be high if uh, suppose if you take a natural convection for natural convection it will be between 5 to 25 heat transfer coefficient value for forced convection it will be from 25 to 100 or 200 based on the application where we are fixing the ambient condition ok. So, the formula for this Hx is equal to thermal conductivity of the fluid and dt by dy with respect to that is the temperature variation this is y axis the temperature variation with respect to y and when y is equal to 0 means at this point what is the temperature ok means this point what is the thermal conductivity of the fluid that is k fluid and at that point what is the variation with respect to y and divided by T s minus T infinitive. What is the T s? T s is nothing but surface temperature of the plate, T infinitive is nothing but of temperature of the fluid. So, this is most important formula in gate examination also by using this formula so many numericals are asked. So, that they will give you the condition like this, there is a flat plate over the flat plate fluid is flowing ok and they will give us the temperature profile, how the temperature of the fluid is varying with respect to y direction ok. When we solve the problem you will understand clearly, now you understand the theory what is that ok and they will give you that temperature variation with respect to y and they also will give us the temperature of the flat plate and temperature of the fluid everything they will give us and they will ask us to find out what is the heat transfer coefficient in x direction ok. So, this is the formula to find out the heat or sometimes they will give this value and they may ask you to find out any one of these values that is based on how you are understanding the question is a direct formula type of method but this is the concept that you have to understand ok that is all. So, this is a thermal boundary layer ok thank you.